All right, everyone, hello and welcome to the third moto for Firestone Firehawk Season 3 kickoff at Everglade Swamps. From right to left, going through the starting order again, we're going to have Q, Soul, Vulcan, Turkey, Opix, Fireball, Luke, Detail, Roman, and Slaunch in the back. Stick it down. Third moto of the night, green flag, 12 laps again around Everglades. Who's going to get a great start? This time, can Slaunch do it again? Or is one of these other drivers going to seize the opportunity here? Going to take their first win of the season. That's an unfortunate start for Turkey there. And Slaunch is pretty far behind. He got caught up on that a little bit. So maybe a bit of an opportunity for the rest of the field. Oh, wow. Four wide. Oh, my God. Wow, Slaunch somehow has, has caught it back already. And he's about to make up like five spots here. I don't know how he's done it. Oh, that pull hit. I mean, still, that was still a lot of spots that he made. He made up like three spots throughout all that chaos. You leading him down again. Vulcan, Luke, and Roman. Coming behind. Oh, and Vulcan goes too aggressive and off the track. Got to get back on. Oh, he cheeses the re-entrance as well. Oh man, that is that just goes to show how how a good race can go can go wrong so quickly. Ro uh, Vulcan literally just went from potentially contending for the lead to back to last <laughs> in like one section. Oh man, that was a that was a terrible mistake. Oh, they, oh, wow, they got really close. Super close battles, and somehow, some way, Slaunch is working his way. He's already up here. He's still holding on the lead. Roman in second, Luke third, and Slaunch is already in fourth, like, in this lead battle. Opix holding on, rounding up the top five. He leads another lap down. Roman's going to try to get around him as quickly as he possibly can because Roman could maybe have a chance at taking this moto if he can do it. Slosh with a great run right there and three wide. Three wide for second. Oh boy. And the run works out for Slosh and he gets to second. He gets to second as Q makes the mistake, so it's going to be a move for the lead. Unbelievable. Slosh back to the lead already. Oh. Luke and Roman chasing close behind. But Slaunch already getting back into the lead like a quarter of the way through this race. And it wasn't even that good of a start, at least initially, but... The first half of the first lap wasn't even that amazing for him. And then he had that one section through the bridge where he made up three spots very quickly and just worked his way through the field very quickly, very efficiently, and... Super aggressive and just already back to the lead and going to try to run away with it again. Oh, that was close. And Roman with some contact. Opix not too far behind either. And Fireball back in the top five. Again. Opix is the new face in the top five right now and Gonna get a good result, and so far so good. Oh, pull hit for Luke. That's gonna slow him down, bunch everybody up. I spice things up here, but it's also gonna help Slaunch get away. Slaunch is already getting a gap, and man, if he could run away with this one, I, I said last race how it was close to his TRS total. He could tie his TRS season total here in in w the beginning of one night of uh of this series, which is pretty insane. Again, this is the thing with the with the motos, as opposed to separate tracks. Roman gonna try to take second place here. Gonna be able to do it. Oh, and this opens up a battle for third as well. Yeah, this is the thing with the the motos is that like, you know, if you're good at a track, the motos kind of allows you to really take advantage of that a lot more, right? Whereas in the TRS, where we're where we're switching tracks all the time. Um, 
you got to be good at so many different types of tracks and like if you're good at a track you can't really you know you don't have an extra moto or few motos to like take advantage of it detail really taking advantage of this situation here by the way gonna get by fireball and luke there and enter his way into the podium conversation Opix holding on to third right now and yeah slaunch and roman are looking to run away with one two again this battle this battle for the podium spot is very spicy though at the moment Four drivers really gunning it for this spot. Oh, that is so close. It's so tight through the bridge. Trying to keep it. Oh, slight pull con. Well, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. That could have been a lot worse, but slight pull for Opix and falling back behind Fireball, but still in contention. And throughout all that, Detail's going to go all the way up to third. And Slaunch and Roman, big gap now. Holding on to third, Luke back and fourth, and Fireball back in fifth. And suddenly, this top five looks pretty familiar. Um, because it's the same it's the same top five as, uh, as last moto. Throughout all the cheese and all the chaos, about halfway through the race, it works out to the same order, which is hilarious. It might not be the same past these spots, but... Funny that the top six is pretty consistent. Still pretty close, though. We go on board with Opix as he tries to chase him down. And we are halfway through this moto. We're going to go five laps to go this time by. But yeah, look at, look at the gap. Slaunch already opening up such a huge gap over Roman. And then Roman having a big, big gap over third as well, so... For the uh, for detail, Luke and Fireball, it's about like their spots, you know. Unless there's massive mistakes made, um, oh, Vulcan and uh, Soul getting pretty close. Take a look at this. Unless there's massive mistakes made, it's going to be hard for them to make it up off pace with this much time left in the moto. holding on to that but yeah let's see if let's see if Vulcan can open things up here and so and he does to the inside and holding on to it oh that sucks Vulcan taking the spot pretty aggressively and I think getting soul the pull right there and I'm sure soul's not gonna be happy about that look for him to try to pay it back in the next moto maybe <laughs> I don't know possibly some pretty pretty aggressive uh full contact on that one but yeah this group of three tell luke and fireball staying pretty close with each other with four laps to go stay on board with fireball and see if anything happens here yeah slaunch and roman just have such a gap Again, barring any like major errors, they should be holding on to their positions, whereas we could still see some swaps in these spots. And it looks like Luke and Detail gained a bit on Fireball. Oh, well, yeah, the pole hit's not going to help either. <laughs> it looked like they're already gaining a little bit that lap, and then that pole contact really hurt him. So, going board with Luke, trying to chase down Detail. I think this is probably the closest. Yeah, things have gotten pretty separated at this point, so I think this is definitely the closest uh, potential battle that we have on track at the moment. With three laps to go as well. Yeah, Slaunch is just a, an amazing start to the night. And it's pretty incredible. I mean, as long as he holds on to this race, he has freaking sweet potential in a four moto kickoff night, which is absolutely nuts. And it's gonna be really tough. It's gonna be really tough to do, but he's got a he's definitely got a great shot at it. A very difficult feat to achieve, um, but if he could do it, I mean, it's literally a perfect start to the season. So, either way, even if Slaunch has a shit fourth moto, he's had such a good start that he's probably going to get the overall anyways. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> it's it's gonna be either way. I think he's gonna be pretty happy with uh, start to the season here for uh, for himself. That being said, this is what's interesting about the Firestone Firehawk season three schedule is that we got the change ups with the Hogs, so you got to be good on both. You know, Slunch with a strong start on the Gooses on the Halo Four throwback maps you don't really carry the momentum over the ho I mean maybe he can but you know what I mean like it's a completely different type of thing like it's not really like carrying the momentum over so it's a great start but next week we're going to something completely different and we'll have to see how that changes things up or if it changes things up are we going to see the same drivers running well there is it going to be pretty similar or quite different I think it should I mean it should be at least a little different Hogs definitely look for some different racing, but we're on the white flag one more time around. Luke's kept it relatively close this time, but I don't think close enough to make a move. Launch one more time past the Gator in his home country, which is kind of funny. I mean, I guess it is home track in the, the schedule for this season. And again, just don't hit any poles on this last lap, and he should be chilling to take three motos in a row. Start off the night. Incredible start to the season, and he's gonna do it. Slaunch, third moto win in a row. Roman taking second. Detail holding on to third. Luke fourth. Fireball fifth, and again, very familiar <laughs> results at the top. Opix and uh, Turkey. And Vulcan. And Soul be coming in as well, and and Q as well. There he is. There's your Moto three. It's launch Roman and Detail in that order on the podium yet again. We'll have to see if that happens a third time in a row. I think it's gonna be pretty difficult, but you never know. Um, but yeah, Moto three going on to Moto four, close out kick out night or kickoff night rather. Um, Firestone Firehawks, see you there.